dear students let us solve the next problem so in this we have to compute the range space null space rank nullity of the linear transformation and we also verify the rank nullity theorem so rank nullity theorem says that the rank plus nullity is equal to dimension of domain here the domain is r3 and the dimension of r3 is 3 fine and observe one thing here they don't give any information about the basis of domain as well as codomain so we have to consider the standard basis of r3 what is the standard basis of domain r3 it is 100 010 zero, 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 one. right fine so the very first thing is we have to calculate e of 100 zero, zero. we wrote e of xyz let us calculate e of 100 zero, zero. let us substitute x equal to 1 and yz are zeros and let us calculate t of 0 1 0 as well as t of 0 0 1 the very next step is we have to consider a matrix where the first row is 1 minus 1 0 the second row is 2 0 1 and the third row is 1 1 1 now we have to calculate uh, we have to calculate the rank as well as nullity by reducing this matrix into row reduced echelon form See, uh, in the first uh, uh, row operation, we have to make this, uh, in the first row, one is the leading entry and below the leading entry, this must be zero. And in the third row, the first two elements must be zero. Right? We have to make them zero by suitable row operations. So then we can able to calculate uh, the rank as well as nullity here. Okay, you observe one thing here. Okay, so we have to make this element 0. How can I make this element 0? So we have to look at the first row. Let us write that as it is. And we have to make this 2 as 0. How can I make that 0? We have uh, uh, 2 here and we have 1 here. Let us multiply 2 throughout this row. And let us do the subtraction. Right. So that is R2 changes to R2 minus 2 times R1. Okay, so we have this. And I want to make this 1 as 0. How can I make this one? We have the row in the row one we have one and we, in the row three we have one. Let us do the subtraction. R3 changes to R3 minus R1. So one minus one zero and one minus minus one will be two and one minus zero is one. So you can observe one thing here. Second row and third row are the same here. So you have to uh, choose the first row as well as the second row as it is. And uh, for the third row we can say that R3 minus R2. So the entire row will be 0 here. Now look at the second row. Uh, in the first row 1 is the leading entry. In the second row the below the leading entry we have 0. And in the third row we have the first two elements. At least first two elements must be 0 because here all the elements are 0. So no need to worry here. So this is the row reduced echelon form of the given matrix. Now, to calculate the rank of the matrix, let us calculate the number of non-zero rows. Look at the first row and second row. We can see at least one non-zero element. I can say that this is one non-zero row. This is one non-zero row. So the rank of the matrix, the rank of the matrix is two, right? And look at the number of zero rows. We have only one zero rows here. The, uh, the row in which all the elements are zero, that is known as zero row. So we can say that the nullity is 1, right? And uh, the, domain, uh, the domain is R3 and the domain is R3 and I can say that, uh, see here the rank is 2 and the nullity is 1 and the dimension of domain R3 is 3. So uh, uh, according to rank nullity theorem, we should have rank plus nullity equals to dimension of domain. Rank is 2, nullity is 1 and that is equal to dimension of domain 3 here. 2 plus 1 is 3 and the right hand side we have 3 we can say that the left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore we can say that uh, rank nullity theorem is verified so now we need to calculate uh, uh, the range space as well as the null space okay so to calculate the range space and null space uh, look at the row reduced echelon form right okay so the range space is nothing but the span of the vectors 1 minus 1 0 and 0 2 1 right so this is what this is the span of the vector 1 minus 1 0 and 0 2 1 so span of this vector means it is the linear combination of these two vectors 
So let me consider x into 1 minus 1 0 plus y into 0 to 1 where x and y are real numbers. Let us multiply x here, let us multiply y here. So this is your range space. So now we need to find the null space. So null space in the sense the elements, the vectors in the domain which are maps to zero element in the codomain, right? So set of all uh, x, y, z in the domain R3 in such a way that the image of that is zero. So that is the null space, right? So uh, here t of x comma y comma z is nothing but the given linear transformation that is equal to zero vector mean zero comma zero comma zero. Now on equating we can say that x plus 2y plus z equals to 0, minus x plus z equals to 0 and y plus z equals to 0. So uh, we can uh, consider these elements now. Now we, we can write uh, x in terms of z, y in terms of z. So let us choose a particular value to z, let it be some k. So then uh, x equal to k and y equals to minus k. So therefore the null space is become so k minus k and k where k is any real number 